for Scorpio, now there's, there's, there's reasons why this person wanted to fix things. Um, there's more to this than meets the eye. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, uh, general love reading for, um, for March, I forgot just then. I do apologise about my voice as well. I've got a coarse voice, I've got a sore throat. Yeah, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, uh, guys. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. <clears throat> and if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where, of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish <clears throat> shuffling this card. Okay, give me a moment to just take these in, guys, and I'll be back. So, Scorpio, let's start your reading. And, of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up, is this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here? But you can always flip, switch, whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay, so just looking at the past, it seems like for you, you was processing something. There's something that you was processing, something that you was thinking about. Um, it definitely had a lot to do with something that came crashing down, because you've got the tower, the tower card there. So something that's fallen apart, something that's come crashing down. I feel like it's to do with your emotions for this person, how you feel about this person. I feel like you've gotten to a point where it's pretty much maybe like it's at a point of no return um, and you're just kind of processing things you was just kind of processing things like i said that's the recent past where with your person they was trying to fix something they was trying to fix things um mend it and that could be due to maybe this person was trying to communicate reach out but there was definitely this wanting to fix things because they're feeling like there is this strong um spiritual connection or soulmate type of connection that they have with you they definitely feel that or felt that hence this pull to fix things but just based on where things are at the moment we've got the six here so i feel like it's in a good space um and i say good on the surface uh kind of thing is good on the surface you'll give into this you know, in terms of time, maybe resources for some of you, and this person is basking in that. There's a lot of passion, a lot of desire here. You're happy with how things are, but it's definitely not reflection. It's definitely not a reflection of how you're really feeling, because in your challenge position, we've got the Ten of Cups. And usually, you know, this talks about emotional fulfillment, someone who's emotionally fulfilled, but this is in your challenge. So this is a lack of emotional fulfillment. You just don't feel emotionally fulfilled by this anymore. And it's stemming from this thing that's come crashing down. Like I said, I feel like you've gotten to a point where it's of no return. And you're kind of playing the part with the nine. It's like you're playing the part, playing the role because of that nine, which is in your challenge. You know, you've been holding on regardless of the challenges, regardless of what you've been feeling. But now... Now, it's like, how long can you hold on for? I feel like you're loosening your grip with, it, with that being a new challenge. Your grip's loosening. You're not willing to hold on anymore, ultimately. That's what that means. So this person is very much, you know, filled with passion and desire based on where things are at the moment. They feel like, <laughs> I do apologise. They feel like things are in a good place. 
Um, but let's just take a look and see what's in their challenge position, which is the nine and the tower. There's a fear, a, a real strong fear around this not working out for them. And that's, a, that's, that's again, we, we got that star that when I said there was a pull for them wanting to fix things. There's a fear around this not working out for them. And I would go so far, Scorpio, as to say this person has the potential to fall into depression with the nine. That talks about sleepless nights, can't stop thinking, worrying, stressing. Yeah, not sure whether this person has had a history of depression or, you know, yeah. You you kind of, you bring some form of fulfillment for them. You, you bring some form of um, positive aspect to their life. They kind of, you, you, you they benefit, <laughs> if I could speak, their life benefits with you being in it in some way. I'm not sure whether you even know that. But there's there's some form of um yeah there's a a positivity that you bring that you bring you know that they tend to hold on to and that's where the pull's coming from. This person could have a history of mental health or um, again you know or they could just be have had a rough path something like that. Yeah. But the truth is you're wanting to make a decision. You're wanting to make a decision moving forward. It's like, okay, I'm wanting to make a decision about that. And I don't feel like, because we've got the night there, sorry, the page, that talks about a strong pull towards something. So you have a strong pull towards making that decision. I, I don't feel like a lot of you have been in this space yet. I feel like this is a new space. You've just kind of reached your, your wit's end. You've had enough. You, you know... This tower has changed things for you emotionally. So now it's like, okay, I'm, I'm wanting to make a decision. I'm being pulled to make that decision. Where with your person, you can see that. I want to pull on these two. Yeah, we've got the hermit. This person, because we've also got the nine right there. This person wants to be protected. It's like they're wanting to protect their self. Wanting to protect their self. Um, mm. Or even stand on... Uh, st stand on this. It's like they're not wanting to let go. It's like stand on what they feel. Like I said, there is this... This, um, this is a stubborn type of energy, the Seven of Wands. This is, you know... Uh, being very protective of your thoughts, your beliefs, your truth. And then we've got the knife. And the hermit. And we just put a, another card on that. Doesn't tell me much of anything apart from the hermit. The need or the, the, the need to think, you know, ask themselves those important questions. And go into solitude, analyze things, analyze what's going on here with the nine. I'm telling you, this person's got a strong fear around that, and based on that, you know, I'm not sure whether this person is because we got the two, which talks about not wanting to acknowledge something, not wanting to see something, you know, not wanting to see and acknowledge the fact that they hold on to this because of you know, stuff that they've got going on, as well as the fact that they've acknowledged from of you adding some form of value to their world. But it's, it's, it's because there, there's a fear. It's like trying to hold on to something because you fear losing it or fear of something. It's not because I actually want to be there. Not to say this person doesn't, but I'm saying there's more to that wanting to fix things than meets the eye, which makes this person, you know, do certain things. So I'm not sure whether this person's going to let go so easily um, and try and persuade you to stay. But it seems like you're coming to some form of decision about this. It's like, uh -uh, I've got to make a decision. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity, guys. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye.
So Aquarius, you know, this person is very immature. They just have an immature way of thinking, hence why they do what they do. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling uh, regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to, you know, just see me shuffle on, on camera. Okay, so as I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. There we go. And of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story stick around as there sometimes just could be messages for a while uh, that jump out and speak to you and of course use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back so Aquarius let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up this, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just looking at the recent past, touching on the recent past. All right, so it's an interesting dynamic here, simply because I feel like this person is very immature, just in terms of how they handle, how they handle things. Their thinking was the five, is showing up as the five. So it seems like they got got one up or came out on top in some way. This is their thinking. It's like I've come out on top in some way. And you're responding to that in just like a nonchalant way. It's like, okay, all right, maybe I've heard this before. I'm just focusing on, you know, moving this forward, advancing this, because ultimately I've made a decision about this person where this person is caught up, you know, their thinking is not in that way. They're not, they don't have a mature way of thinking. Their thinking is, you know, staying up on top or getting up on top or coming out on top and remaining, you know, and, and, but that keeps them stuck. It's like they it holds them with the hangman. I want to pull on that for a second. I want to pull on that. I just get an immature, yeah, do you see that? <laughs> I just get an immature vibe from this person. We've got the hangman and then we've got the death card, which talks about, you know, death and rebirth, transformation, change. This person's stuck, you know, stuck in their immaturity. They're, they're needing to transform, transform ultimately. But this is the past. This is the recent past. Bring it to where it is at the moment. You know, it seems like they're putting in work. They're putting in work, showing off as the eight, and you're like, uh-uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, all this type of behavior, this, these, these uh, silly actions that you've been taking, which is the five, you know, which I wasn't, you know, acknowledging you about. Uh, I need an apology. I need you to acknowledge or take responsibility of what you've done or your actions or how you simply behave. You know, this person feels like they can come in and maybe wine and dine you, showing up as the A. It seems like they're putting in work in some way. The focus is very much on work. But you're not having it. You're not having it. Your challenge is, is making a decision or a decision. As much as you've made a decision, your challenge is, is this a decision. You know, making a decision is a decision that maybe you know you need to make around this. And it's to do with you knowing or acknowledging that you could lose this. You know, this is in your challenge business. I'm going to pull on that. It's like, am I going to go ahead with this person or am I not? Is this person mature enough to, um, yeah, you know, being very protective of that. Very protective of you not losing that. 
your actions. It kind of reminds me of just, you know, in order for you to avoid that, whatever actions you've taken is, is, is to protect that, protect that from happening. And that's the challenge. It's like you have to come to some form of acceptance that it can happen because I feel like that's pre preventing, you know, this relationship from being able to breathe in order for it to then happen if it's meant to happen. Not to say it's, you know, your responsibility only, but um, yeah, there's a challenge around you making that decision. Minor internal challenges that you're facing. Deep down, you know that there's a decision that you need to make about this person who's shown up as just very immature. It's keeping them stuck. They have, you know, immature actions, immature behavior, um, you know, stuck in there, you know, just stuck. It's no growth. Hmm. Yeah. Emotional connection, stopping them from really, truly forming one with you, really being intimate with you, really going there with you. The interesting thing is that this person, just going into the want now, um, is that their want is the high priestess. So I feel like this person feels like you're some form of soulmate or they have a deep spiritual connection with you. You know? You want fulfillment though. Is this relationship fulfilling for you? Is this person mature enough to be able to fulfill your needs? You're wanting a solution. You're wanting a solution. And that's the question. That's the key question there. Is this person able to transform and change and evolve and grow in order for them to be able to have that emotional connection with you? More intimacy, more maturity. This five, that way of thinking is not helping anyone. It's not... Um, it's, it's, it's what's causing them to just behave in an immature way. I want to pull on that high priestess and that three. The three talks about collaborating, coming together. Hmm. Judgment card. judgment around that for them and we've got the knight of pentacles they're still going to want to take action towards you know trying to maintain this relationship but there's judgment around this uh, the connection that they have for you they have judgment around that that could be contributing to this behavior that they've got going on one more card yeah leaving something behind leaving something that's emotionally keeping them in bondage we've got the eight of cups so it'd be interesting to see where this moves to. Um, once I implement the extended reader, we can start doing that, guys. But um, as it stands, yeah, your challenge is this decision. Come into terms with the fact that you could lose this. It doesn't mean that you can You have to. But once you start to loosen your grip on something and be more relaxed, come with that energy, then you're able to make better decisions around this. Is this person able to transform, grow, evolve? Mature, ultimately. This person has a very immature way of thinking. That's the question. That's the question. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity, uh, guys. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. You know, Gemini, this person has done well. You know, they've made the change. They've put an end into something. They're moving forward. But, you know, they could slip up. They could slip up. So let's start your reading. And I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Oops to my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see who's shown up 
in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, oops, ah, if I can shuffle, if I can shuffle, give me a second, there we go. As there sometimes could be just messages throughout <laughs> that jump out and speak to you, let the cards fall where they may. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Okay, so give me a moment to just take these in and I'll be back. So Gemini, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just going based on the past, just looking at the recent past, there was a lot of stress uh, around this for you, showing up as the nine. A lot of stress, there's worry. And I feel like it's coming from this person that I feel like. It is coming from this person. I feel like it's tied to this person um, who also feels trapped. But I feel like it's their situation that's causing you to feel worried and stressed. I would go so far as to say maybe some of you having sleepless nights. Yeah, but there's a feeling of you being patient. I'm not sure whether you felt like you needed to be patient when it came to this person and their situation. But there is this patience or understanding element to it um, or to you feeling like you need to or that you have to or that or that's just the stance that you're choosing to take again like I said this person is or was feeling trapped by something it's something something some situation or something that they was involved with or involved with uh, because I feel like just based on where things are at the moment they kind of separating themselves from it but definitely something that they was involved with that's causing them to feel trapped or be trapped and it seems like you I'm not sure whether you're aware of this though Gemini but it seems like you add or bring some form of positivity into their world you have a positive impact on them or their life in some way that's nice that's always a good thing yeah so just based on where it currently stands at the moment, we've got the page. So it talks about there's been some form of turn of events or you've chosen to do something different or it's going down a new path. Um, I feel like it's tied to this person. Maybe they've made some form of choice or decision to do something different, which has caused this relationship to, to do a turn or, or turn go down a new path. And you're feeling kind of uh, happy about that. Definitely. Feeling happy about that. In fact, I would go so far as to say, you know, you, it's a finally, it's a, a, for some of you, finally things are turning around. Finally things are going in my favour. Finally, um, yeah, things are turning around. I'm curious to see what this star, I just want to pull one card on this. <clears throat> yeah, this person's in a, a place where they wanted to fix this or mend this or Heal this. I feel like whatever was causing them trapped had an effect on this relationship with you. And I feel like whatever choice they've, they've made, it's now caused them to focus on this, to give to this, to fix. Yeah, I don't need to pull on that. To fix this because they're showing up as the star. That could also represent them helping someone else. But I feel like it's more definitely about them. Mm, mm, mm. That's them healing. That's them healing. There's something around this set, this feeling trapped. I'm not sure whether it's... Okay, so it could be another person that they've been involved with. It could be just maybe a bad habit, like maybe alcohol addiction or an addiction of some sort could be. But they're in this healing space. There we go. Healing. You're feeling guilty about something. I feel like this judgment's about guilt. Gemini, I feel like that judgment's about guilt. 
guilt about guilt regarding the birthing of whatever it is that you guys are attempting to do when it comes to your relationship there's guilt around that uh for you this is in your challenge i'm just going to clarify this though yeah let's see not sure where that guilt would be coming from yeah and you're trying to kind of not blame yourself or not blame yourself not take so much responsibility for whatever's gone down or what's happened trying to come to terms with that judgment that you have i'm not sure why you would though why you would feel yeah judgment towards yourself uh depending on what this situation is or what whatever it is that they was dealing with yeah but definitely judgment there which you're not feeling too good about you wanted to get on top of that because it's obviously it's going to have some effect on you kind of moving forward not that it's going to stop you but it's going to make you not embrace it it's not it's going to make you not yeah em embrace it hesitate with it I tell you something, uh, Gemini, this person, and I'm not sure what it is that they've been dealing with, whatever it is this is representing, but there's, there's of course, this is, there's an ending to it, um, and there's a moving forward, uh, but there is challenge around that for them. They are finding that quite challenging. I'm not sure whether you're aware, I'm not sure whether they've expressed that to you, but there is some internal challenges. As much as they're still, you know, they're moving ahead, because we do have the star card there, but you can also see the cat just looking behind. So they've not fully detached from whatever this is, but they're in the process of that. So, you know, that we're not out of the, um, what do they call it? We're not in the safe zone as yet. I wouldn't say you're in a safe zone in terms of them and them moving away from whatever that is represented. Just yet. Just yet. Yeah, still processing this ending, still going through it, going through the workings of detaching their self, moving away from whatever that is. Feel like that thing was, you know, played a big part in their life, had an imp impact on their world or in, on them in some way. But at some point, it started to feel, they started to feel trapped. Yeah. We are thinking about emotional connection with you. If you've already established that, then you know, building on top of that, making that stronger. But again, it's like, and, and with the intention of them healing, but they're still looking back. They're still looking back. That's the thing. You're looking, you're going to keep whatever emotions and thoughts to yourself, whatever's going on for you, you're going to keep that to yourself um, because you've made a decision when it comes to this person. You've decided on them. So really for you, it's about just working out and kind of going through this judgment that you have i feel like it's guilt could be for for some of you something else but there's judgment there uh, and it's having some form of impact or at least i would say slowing down the um the progression to whatever it is that you're wanting to birth with this person that could be kids marriage whatever the case may be exclusivity yeah so really the question is 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 this person going to turn around and backtrack on their self are they going to continue to progress because they've made some progress are they going to continue with that so hopefully this is this has given you some form of clarity uh for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye Libra, I'm not saying this person is wearing a mask, but they're definitely not showing what's really going on for them in terms of how they feel about certain aspects of this, what's going, what's coming up for them. So let's start your reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Libra. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys hope you guys are doing well so this is your general your general love reading for uh 
March. <laughs> I forgot just then. You're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, uh, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your stories, on what? As, uh, stick around as sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So just give me a moment. I'm just gonna take these in and I'll be back. Hello Libra, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so I'm not sure. I'm going to start by saying I'm not sure whether you've had history with this person or not, simply because we got the tower. And that's slightly confusing for me. I feel like this, because it's saying this person feels like something had come, and this is the recent past. Something had come crashing down. Something had come crashing down. Something had come, you know, something had come. Something had fallen apart. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure. I'm going to pull on that. I'm going to pull on that. Because at the same time, they was offering you love. Got the ace there. There's an offering of that uh, to you. I want to clarify, see if anything comes up. Shed some light on that. Ah, okay. So with whatever happened, whatever happened in their life or whatever, there's some aspect or element of their life or their world that had come... Uh, crashing down but with that there was an opportunity for things to turn around it's like it it didn't have that much of an impact on this person because it was like they saw it in a different light like things are turning around for me like they wanted it to happen <laughs> it's got that type of feel to it um yeah and I guess that is the case otherwise they wouldn't been able to offer you that but yeah there was this definitely this offering of love but you felt stuck there was a stuckness to you, unable to move, unable to make a decision. Yeah, unable to make a decision about this, something about this. And that was weighing heavy on you. That was somewhat of a burden for you. Very different to how things are now, though, because at the moment, you, you, the current state is, is you're both kind of building. There's an opportunity to build here. And you're giving, showing up as the six, you're giving, uh, that could be, you know, of your resources, if I can speak, of your resources in some way, shape or form. So that could be finances, that could be time, just your resources, there's this giving, this giving to you. And they're showing up as being, and I say on the surface, they're showing up as being patient understanding compassionate yeah the queen of of uh, cups but there's a challenge around this for you as much as you're at, in this space with this person i feel like maybe i'm not sure why i feel like maybe you thought you couldn't pass up on this opportunity to progress with this person or accept what they was offering because we've got the hyphen and the seven of wands in your challenge position, which talks about this high commitment is still a challenge for you. And I feel like it's tied back to this hangman. So you're being very protective, you know, and that's, again, this is in your challenge. So there's a, a, a challenge around you moving into this commitment with this person. Very protective of yourself, uh, Libra. Let me see what's going on here. Not sure whether you're able to see how, you know, whether you could be happy in this or not. I don't think you've worked that out. <clears throat> yeah, you've not come to a decision about that. 
in order for you to move ahead with that. Again, it ties back to this hangman. There is a reason why he was unable to make that decision because you haven't really come to it. And I feel like there was some of this person maybe said or did that, I don't want to say coaxed you into it because ultimately it's our decision, but there was you weren't ready you weren't ready which is why you're still being very protective of yourself which is why you're having challenges around this high commitment or this commitment that could be marriage that could be you know whatever stages apply it apply it where it fits but again on the surface this person is showing up as being very uh, patient and understanding and compassionate but their challenge is, is they're finding it difficult to lay a foundation with you and they're impatient we've got the knight of swords in there challenge so that's a lack of patience you know the knight of swords speaks about rushing fast movement reckless type of energy but that's in a challenge so they find it difficult to be patient with you regardless of what they're showing up or how they're showing up let's say that i'm not sure what the rush is i'm not sure how long you've been dating this person uh for a while uh, or how <laughs> For a while i'm not sure how long you've been dating this person how long you've been with this person how long this situation has been you know playing out got the three of cups there i feel like this person might assume that this lack of progress from your end is due to maybe someone else a third party and if that's not someone that's physically present it's someone that you might still be energetically tied to in some way shape or form um again going back to the hangman not being able to make a decision being stuck yeah the fact that this person's got the eight of swords on top of the um knight you know it's like that that not being able to move at a pace that suits them that's comfortable for them is causing them to feel a bit trapped as well. They're not going to show you that. They're not showing you that at all. In fact, I would go so far as to say, you know, this person could be pretty good at hiding that fact. Yeah, as I say that, hiding that fact. <laughs> We've got the Seven of Wands there. Yeah. But what's interesting is, is you're wanting success. You've got the Six. You're wanting victory in something. At the same time, you know, ending of something. So that could be this past energy that could be cropping up for you, for some of you. Yeah, you're wanting success in achieving, turning the page. It's like you just want to move on and enter into a new chapter. But there's something that's causing you to feel It's causing you to find it quite difficult to make a decision around this higher commitment and actually not being so protective of yourself. That's what you're wanting to put an end to. That's what's going on there. That's where that 10 is coming from. Wise. Let me pull on that as well. Wise. Yeah, in order for you to change and gain some form of uh, difference in perspective. Yeah. This person wants to take a risk on this. <laughs> you know, like I said, this person is battling with herself when it comes to patience, etc., etc. They're not going to show you that, but they most definitely are. I'm not saying that they're wearing a mask, but, you know, they do have... Yeah, they, they're good at maybe composing their self. Yeah, they're wanting to just move on. They're wanting to progress this relationship, ultimately. They're wanting to take a risk on this. Uh, they're wanting to move down a new path, do something different, you know, and let go of the past and move forward, ultimately. Move forward, ultimately. So, you know, is this person's lack of patience, because we really know what's going on deep down inside, you know, this feeling of lack of patience and being entrapped by that, is that going to come up for them? <laughs> is that going to, you know, start to bubble to the surface and cause them to, you know, maybe take a, a different turn or, yeah, that's yet to see. But as it stands, 
as it stands. You're wanting to deal with what is going on for you in terms of this higher commitment that you're not at the moment ready to take. Finding it difficult, this challenge around that for you. And is this person going to, like I already mentioned. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. You know, Pisces, sometimes it's just the case of us wanting to be heard. You know, this person wanting to be heard, knowing that you see me, knowing that you see them, knowing that you hear them. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. So hello, uh, Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general love reading for March. I'm gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamped, okay? As I always say, please, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, and if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your uh, story, you can stick around as sometimes there just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just finish laying these cards um oops there we go one more take them we we'll take these in and i'll be back <laughs> so pisces let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up, is this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so just looking in the past, there is a lot of worry and stress around this for you, Pisces. Um, sleep this night, I would go so far as to say, because I feel like that's coming from, that's coming from a place of having some level of attachment to this person, an unhealthy I would go so far as to say a, an attachment to this person showing up as the devil. So, you know, this could be just you being, and this is for some of you, not all of you. Maybe there's a, a codependent type of energy that you have towards this person or just something that you can't shake. It's not a, ta it's, it's a, it's a type of bond that's not easily broken or not easily, you're, you're not easily able to shake. You know, there's a bind in there so i feel like that worry and stress is around that as well as maybe there was a breakup or a separation because this person offered you or at least just definitely there was an offering of maybe a, a reaching out and an offering of uh, starting again or making up to you in some way because we've got the ace there which talks about an opportunity to create something new so this person maybe approached you you know, decided to, to start again, let's start this again, let's try this again, that type of thing. And it's coming from a place of them having had some form of epiphany, some form of realisation. Let me pull on that. Maybe in the past they was just being so hesitant. They were hesitant, yeah. Realization around them being hesitant, slow moving in the past. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands, but now there's this, you know, passion and desire that they have. This uh, pull towards you, this attraction. There's still attraction there. 
So just bringing it to where it is currently as it stands. It seems like now, though, you're in a place where you're both embracing or there's this beginning or this newness around this, this uh, embarking on something new, this adventure. We've got the full hair, which talks about the beginning of something, the beginning of the path, if that makes sense. Um, but I feel like there's a bit of, there's something going on here because this person's showing up as a seven. So there's something that they're standing on something that means a lot to them that could be a belief a way of doing something uh, i feel like maybe it's to do with because the dynamic is you're wanting to and i don't want to use the word hmm. no it's not that um okay all right <laughs> for some of you it's this bossy type of energy because you're showing up as the emperor this authoritative you know taking the control taking the lead you know, wanting to take the reins on this situation. And it could come across as maybe rushing this person, maybe um, doing too much, too much for this person at the moment. And they kind of stand in their ground. It's like, no, I'm not ready for that yet. Or I don't, you know, it's that type of thing. Your challenge is, is actually working together with this person. Pisces, in your challenge position, we've got the freeze. So that talks about collaborating. There's a ch that's in your challenge. So there's something around this that's causing you to maybe butt heads with this person or not. Mm, I don't want to say not be on the same page, but there is this challenge around working as a team, working together in this relationship, taking into consideration this person's thoughts and feelings and wants. It's that type of thing. I feel like you have a bit of a challenge around that. Currently, anyway. Be impatient. Be impatient, I could stand for as well. Yeah. And that's kind of obviously going to prevent this from blossoming into what it should or what you both want it to or what you both would like it to, which is represented by the king. So it's really about you maybe listening to this person a bit more, taking into consideration their needs and wants. Um, for some of you, you could not be aware of it as well. I'm not sure whether this is a, representing also a person as well. I'm going to pull on that. Person also coming from their end. Yeah, for some of you, it can. If it, if it is, if, if it is, you know, you already know about them. Um, but it's also representing the lack of patience, lack of patience. You know, not sure what the rush is. Yeah, but this lack of patience. They're really needing to be heard, Pisces. And I say that simply because it's preventing them from feeling emotionally fulfilled in this relationship. This person has hopes. And I feel you, you both do. You both have high hopes for this. You both, otherwise you won't be in it, ultimately. But I feel like this person... You know, there's there's hope there for them, but it's starting to maybe dwindle or it can dwindle simply because their that emotional fulfillment is lacking. This person is adamant on being heard or, you know, something that they're standing on, something that they believe in. You know, you won't want to bypass that. You won't want to ignore that. Can hear you guys say no. <laughs> yeah, you won't want to bypass that. Yeah, emotional fulfillment. And what 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 it does is it leaves this person a bit confused. This is what they want. Is they're a bit confused, so it's going to cause them, or it's going to it is causing them to. You know, just be a bit protective of their self. We've got the seven again. It's like if this person is not able to take into consideration uh, my needs and my thoughts and my wants, my desires, and it's all about, you know, your, you, uh, then I'm confused now. Where do I go from here? It's like, where do we go from here? Where do I go from here? What am I meant to think about this? Well, your focus is I want change. <laughs> I want things to change. I want to continue this change. And I'm not in the mood. Nah, I'm not going to put that on you. 
I'm not willing to, or I'm not wanting to, or I'm not ready to look at what needs to be looked at with the two. I'm not ready or not willing. I'm going to use the word ready. I'm going to use the word ready. I'm not ready to look at what needs to be looked at. And again, it's how do I contribute to this? How do I contribute to this person or to this relationship not progressing in the way that I would like? How do I show up and play my part in that? These are the questions. These are the questions, Pisces. Yeah. And once you're able to do that, that brings back into alignment, puts harmony in, into this connection. Not to say you're to blame, you know, it is what it is. I like to say, you know, our greatest teachers are our children and our relationships because they reflect back to us our stuff. And if we're not in relationships, then how can we know what needs to be evolved or changed or moved or tweaked or healed or whatever the case may be? So if your stuff is showing up in this, that's a good thing. You've got to reveal it to heal it, as they say. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. I want to pull on this first. Let me just, before I, because they are, kind of, you know, they are protecting their self now. Still, still, they'll still give to this, but at the same time, be protective of their self because of that state of confusion. Now they start to question. We don't want them to question. We want them to continue to progress within this. Yeah. Sometimes it's just about them feeling heard, you know. Yeah, they want to move forward, but again, you've got to get through this confusion. So sometimes, I just want to leave you with this gem, sometimes it's about just hearing someone, someone just wanting to be heard. It's like, I need you to hear me, not bypass what I'm saying to you. It's one of those things. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. So uh, Capricorn, you know, as I like to say, a good mouthpiece. This person has a good mouthpiece. They're good with their words. So let's start your reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general love reading for March. Gonna take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamped. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, sometimes could be messages throughout that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to finish laying these cards. All right, so I'm just gonna take these in and I'll be back. So Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. All right. So this is in. Hmm. All right. So I feel like you kind of, you, you've made a decision. This is just looking at the past, the recent past. You kind of made a decision on this person. There was a decision that you made. It's like in your mind, it's like, okay, this is my person. I've decided on this person. And that's that. I would go so far as to say, I would go so far as to say, 
you had the need or felt the need to defend your decision or this relationship or this connection to just outside influences or outside people outside as maybe friends, family, associates, or just maybe the peanut gallery. But there is this, it's like, no, but I've made a decision on this and I'm going to stick with that. Regardless of what you say, regardless of what you say, regardless of what you say or what your opinion is. Now, yeah, of course you can share your opinion, um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to accept it. In fact, I would go so far as to say you wasn't even willing to hear it. Yeah. This person acknowledges that there is an emotional connection here that they have with you. This is in their thinking. Definitely an emotional connection that they acknowledge that they have. But for some reason, they're, it's like they've got the hangman. It's like they're, they're, they're not budging. They're not moving. They're stuck when it comes to movement. I feel like that's movement. Movement, when, movement on this in this relationship or um, progress in this relationship in the way that it should be progressed. It's like they're kind of, let me just grab that. Yeah, do you see that? As I say it, we've got the 10, which talks about baggage, um, you know, burden. Not sure that where that's coming from. That's definitely baggage, which is causing them to not be able to move or progress this. So just bringing it, and it makes sense the way the current connection is now, um, Capricorn, which is the night of the night of coins. Now, yeah, there's action that's being taken or um, movement, but it's not. Um, you know, it's like I'm doing enough. We're doing enough just to maintain this connection, or just to maintain what we kind of already have. I don't feel like you're with you're you you're not. I mean. It's more to do with this person. So it's like you're kind of, what's the word? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. You're kind of at the mercy. There we go. It's, it feels like you're kind of at the mercy of this person's hot and cold, on and off, indecisive type of, type of behavior. But regardless of that, it's like you're, you're remaining hopeful. You're remaining hopeful. Yeah, it's not amounted to much at the moment. Yes, we haven't gotten to X, Y, Z yet, but I'm remaining hopeful. I'm, you know, I, I can see I'm going to trust in this. And that ties into your challenge, Capricorn, which is the four on the ace. It's like you, you've, um, I don't want to be so harsh as to say that, but I'm going to, because you guys should know me by now. For those of you that are new, you'll get to know me. It's like you've drunk in the Kool-Aid here. You've, believed what they've said you've taken on board you know their mouthpiece they, they're good with their with their mouth they're good with their words and it's like you've drunken that is but and that's because this is in your challenge position so it's like you believe in what they're saying you believe in what they said you are trusting in that and um and and, and that's pretty much where that stands you know there is this Ah, let me pull on that ace. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you believe you, you believe in what they say. You believe in what they've told you, and it seems like this person is good at talking, good at giving you or telling you what you need to hear in order for you to be in a certain position. Because again, it's like. Yes, you're both doing what it needs to do in order to maintain the connection, but it's not really growing it. It's not really progressing it. It's just maintaining it. This person is being indecisive, this hot and cold back and forth, you know, and it's like, why, why their challenges is disruption. They, they're causing a bit of disruption, a bit. Oh, that's an understatement, you know, and le left on, left on, um, that's not the word. It's not left undone. It's left unmonitored. <laughs> let's say, let's say that left unmonitored. This person, it could bubble up and create something a lot bigger than what it is at the moment. You know, don't let this person get away with this back and forth, hot and cold indecisiveness, uh, and and just kind of give you enough to keep you there. You know, yes, I'm going to get there soon. Yes, I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to do that. And this gunu never really gets there. 
is that type of thing. All because I feel like this person just lacks clarity. They're holding on to baggage. There's baggage there for them. Do you want to be in a relationship when someone is holding and carrying a lot of old stuff? Bleeding onto you as well, it feels like. Because it's like, you're ready. You're ready. They're not. Um, as much as they want to... They wa this is quite interesting, though. Hold on. This is quite interesting. Because they're wanting an opportunity to build something, to lay a foundation. As I say, that the four comes out. So to lay a foundation, that shifts things a bit. But we've got the moon card. Lack of clarity. Unable to see the big picture. Even hiding as well. Sometimes the moon comes out as masking. Let me just see. Let me grab that card that we just dropped. <clears throat> Which is a seven. Masking. Yeah, but that's more about lack of clarity. Lack of clarity. <laughs> so it's like, are you willing to have a lot of patience with this person? That's pretty much what it is. You're acknowledging that you can be, you can get hurt. There is this three of swords. There's acknowledgement. So, you know, that you can... Hmm. Yeah, that this can cause hurt. And you're not wanting it to with the star card there. Of course you wouldn't want it to. And we've got the strength card there as well. Why don't these cards just keep flicking out for some reason today? Yeah. Just be careful. I mean, you know, usually we, we can move into part two. We move into part two of the reading, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. Um, but as it stands, this person is just really good at giving you, you know, telling you what you need to hear in order for you to be there. Um, and, it, you know, I don't really like those types of moves because it takes the power out of your hands, Capricorn. You know, it takes the power away from someone when you don't give them all the information that they need in order for them to make a decision on their own, you know, and um, who knows? I mean, you could be, if they were just honest, I mean, I'm not sure whether they can be honest. This person is carrying baggage, hence why they move the way they are. But again, the silver lining is this wanting to build something, wanting to lay a foundation. So this lack of clarity, they could gain that. These are the types of readings where I'm thinking, you know, where I would love to have done the part two, the extended version, just to see where this moves to. Because these are two, you know, hopeful cards. That's the silver lining within this. Um, but, you know, as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. So Li uh, Libra, you could be dealing with a Libra, Virgo, Virgo, you know, you're both very much mirroring each other. You really are, you're mirroring each other, you're like a, a reflection of each other. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Virgo, <laughs> welcome to my channel, welcome back. Uh, to my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on cam. There we go. As I always say, please take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, sometimes could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide 
to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality I hope that's not shaking is that shaking seems fine there we go all right so just give me a moment to take this in and i'll be back so virgo let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and pick it up as this being your side the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most all right okay so i'm going to start by just looking at the recent past like this person has you're dealing with someone who you see and this is how you're perceiving them this is in your thinking uh, they've either reached a level of status financially so they could be well off uh, meaning they've put in hard work and now they've kind of you know reached a certain level where their income is is you know um, or they just reached a certain level of status within their career and you're very highly attracted to them highly attracted to them strong attraction that you do have with them and not to say that they don't with you as well this person is thinking about invulnerableness with the nine right there so strong attraction that you have towards this person I'm not sure whether it's to do with the fact that you know they've you know i mean it's always nice it's it is um what's the uh, what's the word alluring let's say that it is alluring when someone has you know it's not the fact that they've got a lot of money it's the fact that you know they have what it took for them to get there it's like what it took for them to get there it's that admiration of that highly attracted towards this person and then and them seeming like you know not even so much seeming like them wanting to advance things with you thinking about advancing things with you but i will say they were going through a huge huge transformation i'm not sure where it bleeds uh, or you know if it's still present now but definitely in the recent past there's this there is this huge transformation represented by the death card there but still thinking about advancing things with you you've got a crush on this person <laughs> Virgo, you know, showing up as the page, got a crush on this person, um, feeling sweet. They've, you know, caught your attention. You're highly attracted to them, strong attraction there. And, you know, you, they consume your emotions, they consume your thought. Showing up as the page, but just looking at your challenge, we see the, the 10 and the ace there. So for me, it's like you're using this, and I want to try and put this the right way. You're using this as a reason to, because something's ended. Something's ended for you. I'm not sure how far in the past that ending took place, but definitely an ending there. And it seems like you're using this as an excuse to maybe move away from that or detach yourself from that. It seems like this person is, I'm going to use the word replacement, but I'm going to use the word replacement. It seems like this person is possibly a replacement for someone else. Not to say that you want that other person. That could, it could be the case. But it also could be the case that you've not taken the time to fully deal with the emotions and the um, mental challenges that came with that and and looked at that and healed that and mended that and giving you enough time to be able to clear that space, clear that energy for you to then move into something else. It feels like you haven't done that. So with that comes this using this person as maybe unbeknownst to you as well. This is done at a subconscious level is this replacement, if that makes sense. And I don't want to use the word replacement because it's not so much of a replacement, but it's more about them you're not wanting to deal with this stuff anymore. This person's come along, you're attracted to them. And now it's like, okay, aha, I can now have something new and something fresh. But there's stuff that you've not dealt with that needs to be dealt with, especially if this is coming up in your challenge. They're coming up as a solution, the Ace of Blades, which talks about, I would say, a similar stance to you. And I'm not saying that this can't work. This connection can't work. It's, you're just where you're at. You're both just where you're at. It is what it is. Seems like they're, you're, you're kind of a solution to their stuff as well. You know, because there seems to be a queen of wands. And I feel like it's tied to this transformation, this death. 
they could have come out of something long term as well. Something that had a huge impact on them for them to go through this type of transformation. Because this is big. This is a major arcana. This is the death card. And it seems like there's something to do with a queen of wands. Um, and that kind of preventing them, just similar to you, it's like a mirror in each other. It's preventing them from really collaborating in a, in a truthful way, in a real way. As much as you both want to, there's just stuff that you're both needing to deal with, past stuff, and and you just need to clean it up, clear it up, and not use, because you're both doing it, not use this as a band-aid, so to speak, or a distraction. Let's say that, a distraction. Prematurely, that's coming up for me, prematurely. Maybe progressing this a bit too prematurely, or maybe this connection is a bit too premature. If there is such a thing, yeah, there's something that's still tied to the past. Someone, yeah, someone that, again, it's not necessary that they still want them, but there's there's definitely the Ace of Cups on top of that. That was there. Yeah. But it talks about still having emotions, still having feelings. And that's pretty much why it's not good to enter. I mean, you can get to know each other in this space, but to actually enter into a commitment where you're both dealing with just past stuff or stuff that needs to be cleared up and cleaned up, because what happens is it then has an effect on what you're both trying to build. It's like trying to, you know, tend to a garden and plant seeds in a soil that's not, you know right for the seeds that are trying to be planted yeah do you see that slowing down this collaboration slowing down the collaboration and for you too it's similar to you too like I said there's something that has ended not sure how far in the path for you, you know, this thing has come to an end there we go we've got three of cups there so that solidifies uh, exactly what if you guys can see that saying It's like you're both bringing other energies into this. Unbeknownst to you, simply because you both, and it could simply be you met at a time, you, you happen to meet, you meet people where you meet. You know, but that's okay, that's okay. But it's however, let's say that, however, it's what you do with that. It's being able to, um, you know, see what needs to be, done within yourself it's like am I ready is this right not not I want to because there is attraction there it's am I ready to especially if you want to take this seriously and it feels like you both do you're wanting to just again it's this focus on coming together but still moving ahead and still trying to come together this person this is while they're still dealing with stuff regarding this queen of wands and that's more about feelings emotions cleaning that up you, you're still, again, it's, 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 it's both of you. You're both mirroring each other. You're both doing the same. Yeah. You've got this acknowledgement for you, though, and it's, you're kind of processing. You kind of are processing this because it's, you know, there is this acknowledge that something's come crashing down, and I feel like it's to do with, you know, when someone else has come in the picture and it's like, I no longer think about this other person anymore I no longer it seems like this no this person no longer has an effect on me so that's where that towel is coming from but it's never about the person isn't it you, you go from one relationship you do the same issues the same problems the same challenges kind of play out different faces same people if that's a if that's the that is that if that's the saying is it same faces you know, same faces, different different people, or different people, same faces. It's the same. You know, you're still going to enter those things, um, and just wanted to move move forward with hope. It's like you're hopeful for this. Now you both can make this work. I'm not saying you can't make it work, but there's some stuff you happen to meet at a time where you're both dealing with other stuff, um, and you're just on the cusp. You're both on the cusp of. 
using each other as an escape away from things that you need, you know, you need to deal with. Now, usually at this point in the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture, see where this moves to, you know, see whether this person, you know, communicates what's going on for them because there's a lack of communication and meaning. So we've got the seven of blades. So there's things that are going on behind the scenes on your end, their end, that you're both not sharing with each other, both not sharing those internal challenges at all with each other. Yeah. So the question really is, is how much of an effect does this person have? How much does it slow this progress uh, moving forward down? And for you, it's like, okay, well, am I going to deal with what needs to be done? So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love reading. That's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. <laughs> Bye. The cancer, you know, this person is holding on so tight to you. Are you going to be able to loosen their grip and um, ultimately uh, move forward? So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. So there we go. So this is your general love reading for uh, March. We're going to take a look and see. Take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle <laughs> on camera. Oh, there we go. As I always say, please, you know, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, could be messages throughout this that just jump out and speak to you. And, uh, of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. Okay, so just give me a moment to just finish laying these cards. Going to take this out and I'll be mad. So, Cancer, let's start your reading. And, of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up. As this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay. So just, we're going to, just looking at the past. So this could be the recent past. This could be, I'm not sure how far in the past this is, but there is this thinking for you around this of, you know, sometimes the high priestess, you know, represents for me this deep spiritual connection or this just higher connection to something. Um, or or a, an intuitive need or knowing about something. For me, it's showing up in your thinking. So there is this, and I, I want to use, I'm being pulled to use the word obligation. It feels like you are obligated to do something. And this is coming from your own mind. That this is you thinking that you are obligated um, to provide, ultimately provide something. This could be finances, this could be emotional support, this could be time, but there's a, a providing here for you, feeling like you need to do that. Um, I feel like maybe for some of you, even you feel like it's the right thing to do, you think it's the right thing to do. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but that's what's coming up on your your side. Again, that's the past. could be the recent past. It could be not sure how far in the past that is. For them, they kind of saw this as, or thinking about this as being... Um, and the Ten of Pentacles. So that talks about fulfillment on a tangible level. So for some of you, you could be in a relationship with this person. And for others, it could be some type of relationship, some form of relationship. But whatever type of relationship it is, they're seeing it as um, at least, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's fulfilling on a tangible level, in a physical 
there is some judgment there that they do have or that they had with the judgment card there. So as much as they're seeing this as, you know, maybe you're together, uh, again, we've got this providing. So maybe you provide like you are a spouse in some way, shape or form. There is this judgment here. So you apologize about that, guys. There is this um, judgment judgment there that you that this person uh, did have just bringing it to where it is currently at the moment we've got the free so it feels like there's some form of interference here it doesn't necessarily have to be a person because you've got the queen of wands showing up i feel like it's also coming from your end cancer so that's there's some form of interference or some form of distraction that's taking your attention and that's causing you to sh to do something different there's something around your actions that you're taking that is different and it's kind of going off. Is maybe you're not contacting this person as much or reaching out as much or engaging um, in a way that maybe you used to. And that's because you're kind of, turn, I don't want to use the word turn your back on, but it's like you're, you, you, something else have, has caught your attention. And because of that, this connection is feeling a burden for you. It's feeling heavy, represented by the 10. There's a heaviness around you having to do certain things. You having to take certain actions or maybe provide effect, effect if you're still providing in that way or trying to. It's like, you know, if this person is getting in the way of this thing that's caught your attention or that you're being occupied mentally by and with your actions as well. Yeah, so it's causing this relationship for you to, yeah, feel heavy be a burden it's like um, the actions you're taking you just kind of take him because maybe that's what you're meant to do or again we're going back to the high priestess it's this maybe obligated to do something but whatever that is it's like now starting to be a burden for you because we've got the hangman on top of that it's like it's stopping you from yeah moving uh, down this new path or heading down this new new room your person your person's emotionally confused there's confusion around this for them they're showing up as the seven so they're in a state of confusion i feel like this person cross watcher because of the high priestess and the world being in their challenge this person has a difficulty it's like there's a codependent energy to them in terms of how much they rely on you. This person is finding it difficult to connect to their higher self. Um, to rely on their, their self. And to sit within their power. And take the reins of their own life. There's something around them. Finding it difficult to be able to do that. Which is going to bring them into a different place. A different space. You know shift their perspective. The perspective. Shift their perspective on things naturally though they find it difficult to do that so they're very much reliant on you it's like they rely on you and that doesn't help when you feel like you're obligated in some way to support or help them because again like i said there is this wanting to go down this new path i feel like it's very much to do with this queen so someone else has possibly caught your eye or something else has caught your eye and you're just wanting to to pursue it you wanted to take a look at it. You wanted to go down that path. How do you do that with this person? I don't feel like there's love here. Maybe there's care. There's understanding. There's compassion. Again, we're going back to this obligation. But right now it's starting to cause or be a burden for you. Be a burden for you. I'm not sure what's happened to this person in the past or why they... This could be how they are. I feel like this person, maybe they've come out of a rough period or they just don't have a lot of self-esteem or they've, there's a level of maybe brokenness with them, but they're very disconnected to their higher self. They're disconnected. There's a, a disconnect there. And that's why they're so reliant on you. But think about it, you know, what, what do you, what do you do? Yeah, unable to see, but we've got the blindfolded. So what do you do? Cancer. That's that's the thing. What do you do when you wanna 
you know, establish this emotional support with whatever this is representing for you, for you. and this person <laughs> where you're wanting to, uh, for you, is you want to establish an emotional connection with wh whatever this is representing, and they're wanting to make a success out of this because there's attraction that they do have. There's a an attraction. Both be very different as well. I feel like maybe this person acknowledges how different you are, or you both are. There's difference in some way. I just get this taking care of. You taking care of this person. Is this person going to be able to lessen the reins, allow you to embark on this new path or this thing that's caught your attention? Are you going to be able to release this guilt or this burden of having the need to take care of them in some way? I want to pull on this success because, you know, yeah, they wanted to protect this. Uh, they wanted to protect this. The only silver lining is, is this, is this person going to start connecting to their higher self? Because once they've done that, then they're able to spread their wings, stand on their own two feet, not be so reliant on you. You know, and if they don't, are you still going to be able to pursue this comfortably? So usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. I will be implementing that next week, guys. It's very exciting. Uh, so look out for that. But as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I should see you next week. So Sagittarius, you know, there's this person had the ability to persuade you to change your mind about them. So let's start your reading and I will explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Sagittarius, uh, welcome to my channel, welcome back. Hello to uh, my channel for some of you guys hope you guys are doing well so this is your general love reading for uh, March we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading we're going to take a look and see what they're thinking uh, what they're feeling and of course vice versa as well feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys it is time stamped Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. Oh. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, it could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just finish laying these cards there we go so this is going to take me then, and I'll be back. So Sagittarius, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this is being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just resonates the most. All right, so this is an interesting read simply because I'm not kind of sure what is going on really internally and we'll clarify some of these cards as well because in the past just looking at the recent past um there was there, you, there was a feeling of success for you so something that had been achieved or something that you had um overcome some challenge or something around you now feeling like you had victory in something but at the same time very much there being a burden so I'm not sure whether that victory has caused this burden. Like a, a, a was it a catch-22 type of thing? 
uh, but there's burden and a feeling of victory. Yeah. Your person is very much focused on what is not working. And again, this is the past. So very much focused on what wasn't working, what isn't working, what's not being said. Uh, and they're kind of processing things. Those kind of just processing things. I feel like there was no communication between the both of you at this point, though. Yeah, I feel like there was a lack of communication. And if there was communication, very minor. Very different to where it is now, though. There is definitely communication here represented by the eight of um, wands. And with that communication, just based on how you're both showing up, this person is, it's like they're acting reckless with the night. It's like they're acting reckless. They're doing things that is just, it's like slow down. You need to slow down. I feel like you're reaping the rewards, though, or the benefits of this recklessness. Maybe they're showering you with a lot of attention. Maybe they're spending a lot of money on on you money that they haven't got or money that they should be spending and that's where that recklessness is coming from but there's a lot of um you being showered with something and that's because they're acting reckless ultimately regardless of that though your challenge is actually seeing a way or seeing how this can work i don't feel like as much as you're indulging in this showering you of something there's a Something around you not being able to see whether this could work, like really work. It might be a temporary thing or might can last for whatever, but actually, you know, then, and we got the, the Ace of Wands again twice. The Ace of Wands, that speaks about, you know, the opportunity to create something. It's the opportunity to, 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 to paint a new picture and that's in your challenge. So there's challenge around that for you. It's that inability to be able to see um, a picture with this person a picture that suits you as well so there's some form of acknowledgement for you Sagittarius that this might not work out in fact this kind of probably won't work out but it still doesn't take away and I don't want to off cross watcher but still doesn't take away from the fact that I can enjoy the attention this person's giving or I can enjoy the um, financial gifts or whatever that this person is showering you with. Yeah, like I said, this person is acting very much reckless. Out of their, they're not stable in their mental. <laughs> they're not stable in their mental, but hyper, hyperactive. Yeah, and their challenge is actually, and I want to clarify this because this is where it gets a bit sticky. You know, I feel like, this person, yeah, do you see that? There's acknowledgement of uh, this ultimately doesn't bring them emotional happiness. There needs to be some form of transformation around that. And this thinking is similar to you, similar to how you're thinking, but... Uh, one second. Unable to think in a positive way because they're dealing with either fear, that's representing fear, or her, past her. Even her within this connection. Let me clarify that one more time. Yeah, hiding that as well. You, you wouldn't sense that, you wouldn't know that, just based on how they're showing up with all this attention and thing that they're given. Yeah, it's causing them to be a bit cold as well internally. It's like, yeah, on the surface, you, they're giving you this, this, this. But the moment you start to emotionally connect, are they unable to do that? They won't be able to do that. Regardless of that, though, they're still wanting to take a risk on there, which is quite interesting. Yeah. So I'm not sure what the point is as to where, where you're both at at the moment. I'm not sure what this is about or where you both hope for this to be or why you're both even entertaining this. I'm just not sure. And that's where the icky, the stickiness comes in. It's like, I'm not sure why you're both choosing to entertain this. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe just in a moment to have a bit of fun or just maybe 
I don't know. You'll see it. Oh, I don't know. That's not clear. Clearly, be clear to you. But regardless of that, they wanted to take control. They wanted to take a risk on this. They wanted to proceed uh, and take a risk on this and actually take control of this as well. Take control of the direction this goes in. Or even, I would say, standing on their, you know, standing firm with the decision they made around taking a risk on this at the same time processing things. I want to say this person's not as dumb as they look. Fuck, that's him. That sounds terrible. That sounds terrible. Sorry. All right. So this person is not as reckless as they seem. You know, there is this element of the king of the king of swords in them. Let's say that. So, yeah, we'll leave it as that. For you, you're still wanting to give to this. And I feel like that's more about you giving your attention more so. Or even receive, still looking to receive from this. (laughs) But again, it's that lack of clarity. I, I, I just don't see it. I don't see myself with this person. I don't see myself. I don't see the picture. I don't have the picture. That I mean, now that can change, of course. But as it stands at the moment, you don't. You just don't see it. Now there are those circumstances where, and I've experienced it in my life, where you're just not interested in someone. They don't tick the boxes. It's not going to happen. Absolutely not. However, you entertain them to some degree, whether that's responding to texts, calls, whatever the case may be. And then, because this person's actions, they're so persistent. You start to think differently. Now that could play out in this in this instance. You start to think differently. You start to see them differently. Uh, that's because time is spent. Uh, again, we've got the emperor card here. So this person has the potential. <laughs> the person has the potential. But again, we're still dealing with their internal stuff, which is, you know, the emotional happiness, this transformation around, around what? Around... Them feeling like they can be happy and also them thinking in a positive light based on, again, this fear, higher, or whatever the case may be, but they are hiding that. They're masking that behind this. Yeah. So usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But hopefully you guys have um, gotten what I was saying. I hope I wasn't too confusing. I hope for a lot of you. Let me just check that. Um, and hopefully this is giving you some form of guidance, some clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Bye. <laughs>
to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so give me a moment to just take these in and i'll be back so taurus let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up is this being your side the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most all right so just 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 touching on the past um this could be the recent past this could be six months ago this could be a year ago so this is just kind of representing the past for you it seems like there was something that had come crashing down in a big way represented by the tower so i'm not sure um whether yes they i feel like there was a breakup here but a huge breakup in the sense of it had it had an impact on just other areas of your life it could be what could be the fact that you maybe built a family with this person, a home, that type of thing. But things came crashing down for you. With that, it kind of gave you the want to focus on just kind of being in a good place mentally within yourself. You know, eating right, exercising, just kind of getting your thoughts in alignment with I'm okay go to be okay everything happens for a reason that type of thing where this person you know they were just trapped trapped in their head mentally you know thinking and this is their own you know this is them being trapped mentally is 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 due to their own way of thinking so this is them just kind of really being up in their head stuck in their head unable to stop thinking unable to escape their thoughts just trapped just trapped and at the same time them feeling like they need to defend themselves as well I feel like this is outsiders maybe people that you both know mutual friends uh, maybe just kind of coming in criticizing judging this person I feel like it's more about them not agreeing with this person's actions in some way shape or form so there's judgment there there's criticism and them maybe uh, making their thoughts known to this person and then feeling like they need to protect themselves or even defend themselves, give reasons as to why they just kind of behave the way they did. Just where it is currently, both both just in a in a place where you're both trapped thinking about this, constant thoughts, thinking, thinking, it's fresh. I feel like it's a fresh situation. So this space is natural, especially if it's a a new type of space that you're both in you're going to be thinking about it it's going to consume your thoughts but it's you know it's it's like I'm unable to escape these thoughts and with that you're kind of going through it you're going through the the loss of not just this person but what you had built together what you had together yeah going through the loss you're hurt by this situation that's 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 obvious you're kind of hurt by what had gone on here however and i say however simply because of what's in your challenge we've got the page of swords and we've got the ace of wands and this re represents an epiphany like a wake-up call a realization and this represents you know more about this speaks to more about you know the opportunity to create something to uh, paint something new that being these two being in your challenge position that kind of says that this these feelings this space that you're currently in is more so due to and i'm talking about the length of time that you're there the uh the intensity of the emotions and thoughts that you're feeling while being there is largely let's say that largely due to the fact that you don't see the blessing or you don't have the realization around what that this is meant or what this means to you it's like for instance you don't see that this is an opportunity for you to now actually go for what it is that you want for you to now have something bigger and better come into your life um, to have a better impact on your life, something that fits you, that's that 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 something that's more equally yoked to you. This is in your challenge. You're unable to see that just yet. I say just yet. Yeah. I say just yet. 
So with with that inability, yeah, do you see that the change with that inability to not see that it kind of lets you sit in these emotions a lot longer than you need to. It kind of lets these thoughts and feelings that are coming up for you be more intensified simply because you don't have the idea or the vision of something new, something better to come along. Yeah. Yeah, do you see that? Challenge around leaving, you know, emotions, stuff behind and moving towards that ninth cup, which usually represents uh, emotional happiness, emotional happiness. So that's your challenge. That should ease that a little bit. That should ease that a little bit because when one door closes, what happens? Another one opens. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. It's, it's are you ready for that door to be opened? It's, uh, can I see or have some form of idea, even if it's just the hope of an idea of something better on the opposite side or the other side of that door? Yeah. The old person is kind of holding back on what's really going on for them. So I feel like on the surface, what you're seeing is not really what's going on behind closed doors. It's like they hold things close to their chest. This person is really going through it with others, outsiders, their judgment, their criticism. Like I said, we're going back to the seven here. So lots of challenges that maybe this person is, but this person is arguing with others, bickering, you know, this frustration there. They're not able to get people to see, you know, their point of view about what happened, what went down why they chose to do certain things. Yeah, this person is being held accountable, it seems, by others outside of, um, yeah. They're just not able to, it's like they're not getting away with it. They're not getting away with it. The people are not, whoever these people are, they're not, they're not, they're not buying it. They're just not buying it. So it seems like you have some form of support even if it's in the sense of them holding this person accountable for their action. Yeah. And they're not, I don't get this sense that, I'm going to pull on this, but I just don't get this sense that this person is taking the time to digest or even listen to what these people are saying. You know, taking on board. And this could be people that are close to them as well. Yeah, it's keeping them stuck. Well, they've got judgment. Keeping them stuck. There's judgment there. <laughs> you know? Which brings us to what they're wanting, which is to get whatever it is that they had back. Coupled with the three there. You know, for them, there was they, they had a good thing going, the King of Pentacles. They want it back. Their focus is very much on getting that back. They want to come back together with you again. Very different from how what you're wanting. You're wanting to, to lay a stronger foundation. You know, move towards an emotionally happier space within yourself, within your life. Yeah, and I would say stick to that. Stand on that. Especially if you've given this person opportunity after opportunity to get it right especially if these other people are holding this person accountable and they're just not listening. It's like, they, 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 it's like, no, even if I feel like maybe for some of them as well, they're kind of trying to sway this person away from trying to get this back. It's like, you, you didn't treat it well when you had it. Why are you wanting to get it back? Like, let this person be, let Taurus be. But no, they're not listening. They're not listening at all. But like, and usually at this point, we kind of move into part two, get a further picture of the read end. So um, as to see where it goes to next, but I will be implementing that next week, guys. But as it stands, it's like, because your focus is on this foundation and this emotional happiness, I don't feel like this person has an opportunity or will have an opportunity. Who knows? I don't know, because their energy feels very much strong, especially if they can battle these other outsiders and say battle in the sense of just verbally. You know, and have the confidence or the to feel they can actually get this back. 
who knows what this person's capable of doing in terms of their actions to attempt that. Okay, so look out for that. You might have to pull on that strength. Um, yeah. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for, um, <laughs> for March, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of, you know, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So that is in the description bar below, okay? As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. There we go. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes, you know, just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course... Of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Just give me a moment to finish laying these cards. I usually pull the, um, that deck last, so I'm just going to put that there. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in, and I'll be back. So Leah, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most, all right? Okay, so just as always, we look at the past, just looking at the recent past. So this could be either the recent past, when it comes to the bar, past, if I can speak, um, you know, this could be recent past, it could be six months ago, this could be a year ago, but this for me seems more about the recent past. There's an attachment that you've already built with this person or that you've established, represented by the devil card there. I'm not sure whether it's a codependent type of um, connection that you've established with them, but there's definitely this bond. Do apologize there about that. Yeah, definitely this bond, this attachment uh, that you've established with them, this unable to break free or unable to, it's like you're caught up, your, your emotions are very much caught up with this person. There's a need, usually when this happens, there's a, a need that they fulfill or that you're relying upon um, in some way, shape, shape or form. And with that comes this overextending yourself, this, this giving, but giving too much to the point where you're overextending yourself. Yeah, where with your person, it's like, okay, you know, they, I'm just going to do enough or I am doing enough uh, to maintain. Uh, where you're overextending, this person is doing enough to maintain and that's because there's a lack of clarity around this for them. They can't see something. Um, I just want to pull one card on that just to, because that... <laughs> As I say that, this card comes out. Give me a second. Yeah. Unable to see whether this could uh, turn into something or even if they can turn it into something, whether they can. This is the magician. This talks about having all the resources and the um, tools in order for them to make something happen, in order for you to make something happen. And that's in there. That's on top of the, the moon. So there's, there's this whether they can make it happen. So again, they're doing just enough to maintain which brings us to where the current connection is as it stands there is an opportunity to build something here represented by the ace there there's an opportunity to build something here you're very much 
emotionally connected to this person. You've already established that. You're showing up as that. Um, but the thing is, it's like, okay, all right. Just looking at your challenge, it's this inability to be able to get yourself out of this place. I feel like there's an attachment that's already been formed, like I already said, but it's not healthy. It's not, it's not good. It's not good for this. It's not something that you should not work on releasing. Now, not releasing this person. Now, that's two different things. We're not talking about releasing this person. We're just talking about the releasing of this attachment. It's unhealthy. It's not beneficial to you or this connection, predominantly to you, because it makes you needy. It makes you attach yourself um, and you give off that type of energy, which they can feel and pick up on. And just based on how they're showing up, you know, Knight of Wands, excitement, passion, desire, but not stable. It's not a stable card. It's not a committed card. And that's the challenge that they're having. They're having challenges around, because there's options. I feel like maybe this person has a lot of options, which is causing this confusion, but they're not taking the time to, they're not slowing things down for themselves. They're not taking the time to analyze, process, digest. You know, they're just kind of going with it. They kind of getting themselves caught up in in all of this yeah but going back to you i feel like this is important here leo this is important because you know you ultimately you want to stand in your power and this strips you of that it strips you of that being attached because what happens is is then you're reliant on something outside of yourself and we know with my channel we're not about that it's all about self-love it's all about you know, standing in your power, this strips you of that because it makes you reliant on someone else, you know, and to, to I'm going to, I want to, yeah, there we go, so there is, so, so it's like this walking away or leaving behind the emotional towards that ninth cup, which is emotional happiness, where you're content within your own self. So this person is a bonus to that, ultimately. Challenge around transformation, change around that for you. Currently, I always say currently because, you know, until we move into part two and get a fuller picture, things can change as well, energy changes, things shift. Um, yeah, so like I said, this person has a problem or a challenge and just slowing things down for their self. They get, caught up in you know the excitement and the passion of things but they're not it's like I, I, I'm not in a place to give or make a commitment or solidify a commitment to anyone this person the options and that's going back to this this is like I'm not sure whether this person feels they have the ability because we do have the magician like I said it's this them not feeling like they have the tools to make something happen so I'm not sure what this person's past is like, but I feel like there's a level of belief that they're, I don't want to say not a good person, but they have not gained the experience or the tools or the knowledge in order for them to be able to offer something or themselves fully to someone. It doesn't, and you know, the, the, the dangers in that is, whether they're still going to pursue something. And this person is that type. It's like, you know, for want of a better analogy, it's like I'm going to bleed on others be because I'm messed up. Not to say it's to that degree, but it's that type of thing. This person's not going to slow it down because, you know, it has an effect on you or has an effect on others. They benefit from it. They're enjoying it. So it's like they're not going to be mature enough to be able to do that. So this is why it's important for you to deal with this. Yeah. They're wanting to wait for something to happen. It's like they're aware of this to some degree. They're aware of this to some degree. Still looking to pursue you. Still looking to engage in this, let's say that. There is that communication cost. So there's something around them wanting to communicate or communicating something yeah 
still have their eye on you, still going to engage in this. But something around communication and waiting for something to happen. For you, you're not wanting to acknowledge this as yet. You're not wanting to acknowledge, you know, it's like I want to keep that hidden. I'm not ready to acknowledge that. I'm not ready to see things. So these are the types of readings where I had wished I had implemented part two, or the extended version, just so I can see how this plays out. Because, you know, this here for you, Leo, you know, pay attention to this. Yeah, pay attention to this. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye. So Aries, you know, this person, as I would say, is under some form of illusion. Uh, they're deluded because they really feel they can get this back when I just don't see it. I just don't see it. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and its force, and vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped the cards for where they're meant. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to, you know, see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there sometimes could be messages for Al that just jump out and speak to you and of course use this as a guide to support and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality <laughs> truly woman all right can just let take these in and i'll be so Aries, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. All right. So just looking at the past for you, there's something, something came to an end represented by the 10. Something definitely came to an end. Something that you was very much committed to as well. This could be a marriage. Um, it doesn't have to be a marriage, but something that you, maybe some, maybe there's a long-term relationship here, something that you felt could have led to some form of marriage, um, but definitely a high commitment there, but an ending around that for you, where with your person, it's like very different, opposite from you. It's like you represent emotionally happiness for them, like you had some form of impact in their life in some way, which caused them to be very much happy with you. In fact, you know, this person was thinking about buffing something. You know, who knows what that buffing, I'm going to pull on that. But definitely the buffing of something, the creation of something. That could be a life. I don't need to pull on that, actually. There we go. Could be a life, you know, together. Be kids, whatever the case may be. But definitely the buffing of something. Bring it to where it is now, though. And I'm not sure how far in the distance in the past this was, because where it is now, it seems to be a lot of hurt there between the both of you. A lot of hurt there between the both of you. I don't feel like it's having much of an impact on you simply because of how you're showing up. You're showing up as the page, which means you've already started to go down a different path. You've already started to implement things that are different 
Uh, you've already started to, whether that could be work on yourself, uh, just kind of pursuing a new career, new hobby, something that's just bringing you down a new path. Uh, it could be someone, which is this queen of, of cups here, that could represent you moving down a new path because you've got your eyes set on someone or someone has come into your path. Um, come onto your path in some way. I feel like it's very much that that queen of cups, but there's a challenge around that. There's a challenge around... You've seen an opportunity to actually start something with this person. There's a there's a lack of opportunity, so you see. Let me pull on this. Yeah. Something around you not seeing an opportunity. There is this... Yeah intuitive knowing about this person and when we're talking about the queen of cups we're talking about someone who's emotionally mature it could be a water sign which is um, what was a water sign scorpio pisces cancer um but also it could be someone who's very mature a very compassionate understanding patient they exude that type of energy i feel like there's an intuitive knowing about them in some way shape or form or just an intuitive pull to move in that direction. But you're not able to see an opportunity. It's like there's something around an oppor- not not seeing an opportunity to start something, whether that's start a conversation, start, you know, just building a friendship or just start talking to someone or talking to this person. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this one more. Yeah, in order for you to take action. So it's like you're not able to take action yet, or it, it, or action in the way that you would like. Let's say that. Well, with your person, your person is masking how they feel. It's like they're holding back on what's really going on for them. Yeah, it's like they're holding back. They're not. They're keeping their their thoughts and their feelings close to their chest. They're not letting off too much, um, but very different from what's going on behind the scenes. Because it's like this person is unable to wake up to the fact that they're just not going to have a victory with this with you. They're just not. I feel like the ship has been has sailed. Um, they're not wanting to face up to that. They're not wanting to acknowledge that. <laughs> You know, we've got the page which talks about, you know, realization, epiphany, wake up call. That's in their challenge. And then we've got the six, which talks about victory, success. Again, in the challenge position, in their challenge position. So they're just not, they're blind, blinded by the fact that they can actually turn this around. <laughs> because what? Because you're understanding or you've been understanding in the past. You've been compassionate in the past. I don't want to say a cross watcher, but I just think I'm not sure why you feel this, <laughs> you know, because they're wanting to start fresh. This person wants to start fresh. They've not woken up to the fact that their ships has sailed. Uh, the Aries has started to already embark on something new. Um, and that new could be anything. I feel like it's very much tied to this person. This person has sparked you know, a newness in you. Yeah, regardless of the fact that at the moment, currently, you don't see, yeah, there's some stuff around the opportunity to then take action. But, you know, you've kind of started to move away from this already. Yes, there's still some stuff or hurt there based on what you've experienced, but you're, you've started to move away from this already. And this person, this person is under some form of illusion. <laughs> I'm sorry, Quartz Watcher, but, you know, you've been listening to my channel for a while I call a spade a spade sweetie that's how that one works it's all coming from a place of love you know tough love as they say yeah wanting to protect this wanting to protect you wanting to protect this yeah look at what they're wanting free still come together still collaborate and this person I don't know where they're getting it from Aries this magician, they feel like they can actually make this happen. Where for you, very different. Again, it's this, I'm ready to embark on this new journey. I don't know, yes, where it's going to turn or where it's going to go. 
how it's going to turn out, but I'm willing to take that leap. I'm willing to take the first few steps. I'm willing to head in that direction. And I'm going to pull on my inner strength in order for me to maintain that. And I think you're going to need that, if I'm honest with you. Definitely feel like you're going to need that because this person is persistent. This person is under some form of illusion. This person is um, deluded in some way, shape or form. Um, but hold on to this because they'll soon wake up. Definitely they're going to take action in some way, shape or form to some degree. And who knows how long it's going to take for them to actually wake up to the fact that it's not going to work. Usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture, see where this actually moves to. But I will be implementing that next week, guys, so we can actually get a fuller picture on these readings. But as it stands, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Maintain where you're at. Maintain where you're at is working for you. Um, and of course, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. 